Hey peeps, welcome to the Crafty Witch UK. My name is Arietta, and today I have a finish for you that has been a long time coming and I know there's a lot of people that are really excited to see this. So today I'm going to be showing you the finished version of my Clausone kit project. Uh, this was the koi fish. I will pop a link up in the eye as always to the playlist with all of those videos so that you can see the unboxing. I did two live streams working on it, one for the wire work and then one for the colouring. And then since then I worked on it behind the scenes and it is now finished to the best of my very novice ability. So let's have a look. I've got it here. This is the box it came in. So this is where I've been keeping it. So Okay, so here it is. Now I can see all the things that are wrong with it, but that's that's a me thing. I'm just gonna move you out a tiny bit. There we go. So you can see the whole thing. So um, yeah, I'm gonna be nitpicky on this because I can see all the places where I went wrong, but this is not an error with the kit so much as it is a learning um, curve for me. But yeah, you can touch this now, it's all, it's all dry, it's all hardened. It kind of feels a little bit sandpapery, I suppose. It's quite a nice texture. Um, so yeah, it's a bit like a, a very fine emery board because of course it is sand. Um, I think the only thing that I had expected was that the, um, the laminate that went over the top, the laminating glue, I had expected that to sort of make a shiny um finish and we haven't got that you can see there's quite a lot of sparkle in the sand um you can see but it's not sort of a a glassy gloss finish like you would get with the baked enamels um, but that's fine i just i wasn't really sure what to expect so um but yeah i'm i'm pleased with what i achieved um Obviously, if you've watched my other videos about this process, you'll know that I really did struggle when I first started. It was quite a steep learning curve. Um, I knew because I have issues with migraines and sensory stuff. I struggled a lot with the glue initially, um, which is. Uh, this is the glue that the kit comes with. It's the B7000. Um, and I may experiment with other glues to see if I could find something that is a little less potent. But um, I think if you're going to work on it, something like this, do it in the summer, open your windows, open your doors, you should be fine. Um, certainly that's how I managed to complete this. And I did probably about half of it in a whole day, just the wire work, because I was able to kick open the doors and just, just get it done. Um, it's almost, I was describing this to my husband as this is like two separate craft projects because you've got the project of laying down the wires um, and that is like one skill set and one, one craft activity. And when that's done, it looks quite stunning and quite impressive. And then you're like, oh, look at this lovely gold fish or gold designed thing that I've made. And then the second craft is sort of the colouring and the filling with the sands. Um, so yeah, it's two separate things in one really. And because of that, certainly it is kind of the craft that keeps on giving and you can you can stretch it out you don't have to finish it all in one day i would not recommend trying to do one of these in one day um well for starters the laminating glue takes 30 hours to dry so, so don't be trying to do it in one day uh it's not something that you should rush because you want to enjoy the process um but yeah i'm really pleased um despite you know, there are little areas where i can see that because it it tells you to work from dark colours to light colours, but I thought I would do the background last and maybe I got a little bit overzealous. And so you can see I've got some of the background colour has sort of leaked a little bit into some of these white bubbles. I've got a little bit of smudging 
There's a tiny little bit there as well, which doesn't look so bad on camera actually. Um, <laughs> But I am really pleased with how I managed to do the colouring for the fish. I think I'm, I'm pleased with the shading on those, um, with the way that the colours go from the, the red through to the yellow and then through to the white. Uh, yeah, and I'm definitely going to do another one, which I didn't think I'd be saying. I genuinely thought I'd be like, yep, done that, tick. <laughs> Don't want to do another one. But actually, I really do want to do another one. And I am currently investigating the possibility of doing my channel logo which I did mention in um, in my live stream that that was something that I was looking at so that would be this lovely lady here I think because she's got strong outlines I think she'd work quite well and then that would mean I would have her to hang up on my wall um, yeah I, I think that that she's a, a simple enough design that she could work so um, yeah, a couple of things to tell you as well about Clausone kit that has changed since I purchased this one. They've made a couple of changes to their kits, which they advertised on their Facebook page. So do go check out um, the Clausone kit Facebook group. Um, so their updates are that each of their drawing boards now comes with a gold frame, which obviously this one doesn't. Um, it simplifies the colour process and enhances the beauty of the final artwork. Um, so yeah, it's just a, a more decorative gold edge. Um, and also they're now including a colour guide to help you easily identify where to place each colour. Obviously my kit just came with a picture, which it was then up to me to try and sort of work out. I can't even remember which way around is that? Um, is it that way? No, <laughs> it's that one. Yeah, um, so that's the way around it is in the picture, yes. So my my one, I just had this picture to look at and to have to try and work out where to put colors based on that picture or not. Um, I was worried, um, about changing it up too much so I, I did stick to this pattern because I didn't want to run out of sand actually um, that wasn't a problem I can show you what I've got left so here <laughs> these pots are a bit they've got condensation in because obviously they are now full of wet sand so I've got black left still I've got orange left red I've got lots of the burgundy I've got blue I've got white I've got yellow and uh, this did have the other blue in, but I combined both blues together to make a third blue because it came with a light blue and a dark blue. And then I mixed them together to make this kind of mid-tone blue. Um, and then I've still got, as you can see here, packs of sand that I never even opened. So that is just indicative of what's left. I've also got a bit of wire left, but I've packed that away and my plan is to have a look at maybe doing some much much smaller projects just using these leftovers just to have a go um, and they do now again on their website you can now purchase blanks um, they've got blank little trinket trays and uh, bookmarks and things, bamboo bookmarks that you can purchase to use up your leftovers. So they are starting to think about that as an option. You can also now purchase the wire, the glue, the sand, all individually if you want to just go free, freestyle and make up your own. Um, which was what got me thinking about doing the channel logo. Um, and of course you can buy the boards as well. So that is... <laughs> <laughs> that's where I'm at with this I don't really know what else to say I'm really pleased um that I did it um and yeah I'm definitely I, I'm I'm quite proud <laughs> if I'm allowed to say that um yeah things that I would do differently next time I think maybe just the order of the colors um and yeah I think there's a couple of places where I think if I could, can I show you? Mm, 
it's difficult to see which is a good thing um, but there's a couple of places here and there where the sand is a bit pitted um, and I think that's because I didn't sort of shake it out and flatten it down as much as I probably should have done got a bit impatient with it and um, yeah don't don't be impatient <laughs> that's that's my um, that's my best advice to you really so so there you go yeah that is that's the Clausane kit all finished I'm gonna pop it up on the wall somewhere and enjoy it Clausane kit have invited me to be an affiliate for them um, after seeing my last video which was good um, and so they have given me a discount code to offer to you all this is different from the discount code that was running throughout February 2024 during the familiars event so that code no longer works but moving forward there is a new code um, which is crafty witch 15 and that will get you 15% off your purchases so do pop over to Clausane kit make the most of the discount um, let me know what you order I always love to know if people are taking up the offers what they're buying and post pictures to the Facebook group of your progress message me um, yeah it'd be lovely to find out um, what other people are working on and um, yeah see people's progress so I am going to go and find a perfect spot for this to live in now that it's all finished. Thank you for joining me on this journey as always. Um, it's always a bit daunting trying a new task and trying a new craft and it is lovely to have the support of my subscribers there with me. My Clausane videos have been really popular and um, I just want to say thank you to all those new people that may have found my channel because of the Clausane kit. There will be more to come. This is not the end of my Clausane content. Um, I will be getting another kit and I will, of course, be sharing it with you. So uh, if you don't want to miss out on that, remember to hit the notification bell so that you are notified every time I upload. Please do consider subscribing, hit the thumbs up, share my videos with a friend. All of that stuff really, really helps new people to find the channel. And of course, drop me a comment down below. Let me know what you think of the Clausane kits and Clausane as a craft. So that is all for me for now. I'm going to go and um, get a cup of tea I think <laughs> and then just yeah enjoy looking at this because I can't quite believe I finished it <laughs> so that is all from me and until next time stay crafty